Mixed Up Craft. Thank you for watching my tutorial today. I'm back with another laminating um, project and this is my passport holder. So I'm really pleased with this one. I needed to update mine, it was a little bit knackered and um, I'm doing this video just before I'm flying back to the UK. So I've made an update for myself and I'm going to be making one for my mum on camera. So it's just literally that. It's um, very similar to the folio case that I done. It's just downsized and then accessorized a little bit. So I've die cut some of my travel dies here. So I've got a little suitcase, camera and plane and I've just put it on a chain with a tiny little, I use my pokey tool to poke through a hole because the, um, the hole punches are too big. So unless you've got like one eighth of a mil um, one eighth of a mil, one eighth of an inch, um, uh, then that's what you need really for that. And then you just open it up. I don't want to reveal my details on camera, but basically it holds your normal passport. So it just pops in one side and then the other one, like so. So you just pop in your two main backs of your passport and you have a really nice case. And this is it's pretty much cased from my old um, passport case in terms of the width of this and my passport never fell out. Um, you always have to remove your passports anyway when you go through the security and usually when you check in they ask you to remove them. But I like to use a case because my passport is still so nice on the front and I've had this a long time but I've still got the lovely gold um, foil on the front there. So I do look after my passports. It's got lots of lovely memories in it. Um, so that is what we're going to make today. So those papers are from Simply Creative. Um, again, I think I said it last time, it's either the Tropicana or the Razzle Dazzle. All the links will be in my blog. So today we're going to use this one here and this is for my mum. So I've gone floral and my mum probably won't want anything hanging. She's she's not, she doesn't like, it's like a, that's like a faff for her. She'll just want something that is just nice, easy, can slip in the side of her pocket in her handbag and, you know, she can grab it. So you are going to need a piece of um, whatever decorative paper it is that you're using and you want this to be um, seven and a half by, I think it was five and a half, yeah. Now I've personalised my mum's and down in the corner here you can see Julie and I've used the alphabet stamps from Stamping Up, Labeler Alphabet, these ones here. I've had these for a while, they're probably um, discontinued, um, not discontinued, they call it retired now because I know they've retired a huge amount from their catalogue. So um, have a look because you may be able to get these in the sale or reduce. They are so handy to have. I can't tell you how many times I've used these because you get two lots. So you get the, they're all like typewriter um, font as well. So you get them just on their own and then you get them set in the black square there as well. And you get the little extras there as well and the numbers at the bottom. So I've just used the little hearts either side and it's quite, you know, understated, which is very much what my mum will like. So. This one here, I just cut in half one, oh, and then you need these two pieces here. So they measure the same um, length, which is, uh, width, sorry, which is five and a half. And these ones are one and a half. Yeah, you need two of those. So like I said, it's very similar to the folio case that I done. So this one, you want this to flip over and pop it in right up to the edge. So this is where the laminating pouch is joined, okay? Pop it right up to the edge there. If yours is double-sided paper, then great. Um, you're not going to see anything on that side apart from this here. This is all you're really going to see. So that's why I've chose to, this paper because it didn't bother me that it wasn't double sided. And then these pieces you want to sit right up to the very edges like so. And then again, this one It's going to go. Again, make sure you've got the direction if it's directional paper. Just think about that when you come to put it all together. So now you can kind of see, so that will fold in half like this and then my mum's little personalised, that's the front of the passport, this is the inside. So just make sure it's all nicely lined up. Bring in your laminator, so I've got mine all set, <coughs> excuse me, and it's all nice and hot. Oh, my phone just turned itself on and then just feed that through. So anything that you're gonna do in terms of personalising it, make sure it's on very, very flat, thin paper, really, um, like origami paper. Copy paper may, it may, I don't know, you need to be careful if you're using pattern paper that it would become see-through, but this paper was fine. Um, so, because you don't want too much of a bulk. So that's just coming through there, and I will feed this through again in a minute once we do the next stage. 
Okay, so just as I said in my other tutorial, when it's coming out the other end, try and hold it as straight as you can. Don't let it drop down because that will, it will just start to form like a curve effect because it's cooling as it's coming out. So you want to keep it as it's cooling in as straight as straight a form as possible. And then while it is still warm, just hold it down. Be careful because that side is still actually very hot. So just watch your uh, hands there. But it will just, you know, doing these little extras just help with the overall finish of it. So that is now nice and cool. So then we're going to cut it just as we did with the folio case. So I'm just looking for my knife. There it is. So very carefully, where this laminated pouch, where the plastic has gone over this layer here, it's hard to pick up in, in the camera, but there's a slight clouded very very thin strip which hasn't stuck to anything because obviously there is a slight raise in the papers there from that one to that one that is where you want to cut and if you start from the very very top and just poke the end of your knife in keeping it quite flat you will eventually cut into that top layer and as I said before then it would be like cutting um, paper you know when you've just got really sharp scissors and you can literally just run them along without really doing anything? That's what you want on this and you don't want to be cutting through that paper underneath. So just as you start to cut there, maybe turn over and just make sure you've not gone through, which you can see there I haven't. I've literally now just cut that away from that piece underneath. And we're going to run this back through the laminator again in a minute. So now you just want to go and redo that again on this one. So just again, very carefully, just start it off from the top enough to get the edge of your knife in. Just watch your fingers, be very careful. But once you start it off, that's it now, it just slides very easily. And it will only cut away the part that's not stuck because it's stuck to the rest of the paper. So don't worry thinking, oh God, I'm gonna go and cut off into here. You can't because that plastic is stuck to that just like it's stuck to this, but it wasn't stuck on that little join, which is why it makes it easy for you to cut. So now before we run it through one more time, and you can see there it's gone over that nicely because there wasn't too much bulk there. So I'm just going to go around now and just cut, and I always cut about so that it leaves a border of about one eighth of an inch, three eighths of an inch. Um, sorry, a quarter, about a quarter of an inch to three eighths of an inch. Um, if you want to round off your corners first, you can round them off on the paper before you laminate it, and you can corner punch. Um, this one here does go through, this is the X-cut one, it does go through the, the plastic once it's set. Um, so you can also do that with them. So just very carefully. Again, as I mentioned before, don't worry if it's a little bit crooked and stuff, it's clear, you don't, you're not going to see this. So what we want to do now is just set it again, because you might find you've got a few rough bits of plastic there. You can go in and just trim, might be better with my snips actually because they're a bit smaller and just kind of you can just trim away if you've got any excess bits but we're going to almost kind of remelt them again now so they will kind of tidy themselves up I've got a couple of bits that side's fine there we go so that is now what you will have is this with the two pockets on either side so now bring my laminator back in I'm going to pop that in again as it comes out the other side just hold it as straight as you can. Um, check your laminator, make sure, because you might need to feed this through with some um, with a feeder sheet. So like, um, they will usually come with the laminator, but um, sometimes if you think it's not working so well or you, you've got something that's smaller, just sandwich it between a folded piece of copy paper and then feed that in. Okay, so now that's all come out nicely. Again, I'm just gonna keep that down for a minute until that's set. And these will be great to sell at craft fairs, as I mentioned with the folio, anything like this. They're just nice little, and these are so quick to make. You can sell them at a, a nice bargain price that's going to entice people to your store as well, you know. So, um, yeah, these are a good little one. Then if it's connected slightly, just, well, it hasn't, it shouldn't do, but that just lifts up perfectly, like so. So now what you want to do is bend it round, like so, and just pinch all along there and then you can burnish this with your bone folder so grab that. okay so that is the passport all done so what I'm going to do now is grab my one back out just to test it and that one 
it fits in really snug it's it's not going anywhere and if you lose your passport it's not because of this case it'd be because you just lost your passport so <laughs> there we go look at that I think that is so lovely and I know mum is going to love that and it's a bit like as in with everything that's new it's a bit um, kind of um, what's it called um, what's the word I'm looking for bouncy it's quite it, it just wants to pop open at the moment but eventually that will wear down and that will slot in perfectly but I just think that looks really nice and it's really quick really easy to take it out when you go through security and all those kind of things and just obviously give it to the guards so there you have it a very easy very quick nice way to update your passport so just in time for the summer and everybody's holidays um yeah go and make one i think they're great so there's my two like i said i've got the little um keychain on that one as well if you want to have something hanging and that one's been personalized if that's what you want to do as well so there you have it hope you've enjoyed it as i mentioned in my other I post with the folio case i'm going to be doing um quite a few little laminating projects and they're all being their own playlist so you can revert to them because i do like making some stationary bits and pieces and this kind of falls into that um category and you could you could use this as just another little folio case you don't have to have the passport in there you could put little notes and just keep it in your purse receipts and things like that it's quite handy for that as well so there you have it if you enjoyed today please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel to see more thanks for watching bye